Hi everybody, my name is Martha. I'm a clinical sexologist and I'm from Eros Coaching. That's E-R-O-S-Coaching.com. I am doing this very rare interview on Zoom with uh, Sherry Winston. I had her recently on my radio show, Arrows Evolution, and uh, we thought it would be really cool to hang out and be able to see each other and uh, meet each other on Zoom. So uh, Sherry is somebody I really respect and admire for a very long time. And it was really nice uh, that she was so approachable and knowledgeable and I learned lots from her from the radio show. So if you haven't listened to that show, uh, check it out. I'm going to put, post the link below. Okay, a little bit more about her. She's the founder of the Center of the Intimate Arts and she's the author of the award-winning book that won the ASAC Book of the Year Award in 2010. And the book is called Women's Anatomy of Arousal, Secret Maps to Buried Pleasure. Uh, she is, uh, she has been a sexuality teacher for the last 15 years. And this is based on a 25 year experience as a nurse midwife, a gynecology practitioner, registered nurse and massage therapist. So she knows what she's talking about. So welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, this is great. We had the, uh, a really fun uh, interview on your show, and now we get to go a little deeper into a couple of the, the conversations that we started. So I'm excited to, to have a chance to, uh, to go deeper in. So what, what more do you want to talk about? <laughs> okay, there, there were several things that really impressed me uh, during the radio show, and uh, I wanted to rehash um, the most uh, interesting bit uh, for me, which is um, all the different types of erectile tissue that you were able to describe so well. I think that uh, people who are going to be watching this on YouTube and also all the people on my mailing list are really going to um, benefit a lot from the way you do it. So would you mind uh, going through the different parts of the erectile tissue uh, very quickly? I would be delighted. So just start with the idea um, that women have just as much erectile tissue as men do. And that's not something I grew up knowing, and it's not something I learned in all my years of, of training to get all the degrees I have. Uh, I still was under the impression that basically for women, it was all about the clitoris. And actually what I thought was the clitoris was only part of the clitoris. So women have a network of structures that are all made of erectile tissue and pound for pound, inch for inch, it's just as much erectile tissue as a penis has in it. It's just arranged differently. So the part we know about, uh, the head of the clitoris is, I think of that as the, the jewel in the crown because it is the most sensitive part of all of the structures. Um, but we've got the rest of the crown. So we've got this whole network. And, and for most of us women and, and our partners, we don't know what's there because it's not in most of the books. It's not in medical education. It's not necessarily even in the training uh, that one would get to become a sexologist like you are. So it's really sort of missing. We're missing this map. So let me give you the map. So uh, if we start with the head of the clitoris, mm -hmm. um, uh, then there's the shaft of the clitoris. You know, I actually have, I happen to have, <laughs> I have my vulva pillow here. Um, so the head of the clitoris is right there. Um, then there's the shaft, and the shaft is under the hood, right under here. And um, that is made of erectile tissue. Then there's the legs, and the legs of the clitoris are like a wishbone. They go this way and, and down. And so they're harder to find and feel, um, but they're going to be underneath here. But there's more erectile tissue than just the clitoral structures. There's also erectile tissue under the labia. There's a big wad of erectile tissue here and here underneath the labia. And these are the vestibular bulbs. And you can find them here, you can rub them and you can play with them. And just like a penis, when it becomes erect, these will puff up 
right? And so one of the ways you can find all the stuff I'm talking about, if you own the equipment, um, is you can find it on yourself. If you don't own the equipment, you'll, you'll need a lab partner to do your homework assignment, but this is your assignment, is to find all of these parts. So the bulbs are gonna be under here, and when they get big and puffy, literally I remember it for myself, when I first uh, came across this information, there's a book called New View of a Woman's Body, um, and it described these parts that I'd never heard of, and that's what got me started on my whole, what I call the hunt for buried pleasure. And this was the first part, the vestibular bulbs that I read about, and I said, wait a minute, this wasn't in my textbooks. How could I be an expert at women's health, and especially in these parts, and not know? So I went and checked on myself, found them, and literally went, oh, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't know I had these. So they, when you play with them, they get really big and puffy. And then there's two more uh, wads of erectile tissue. Um, and you would get to them basically by going in the vagina and up. And that's going to be the urethral sponge. So it's going to be in and above the top of the vagina. And then there's another uh, area of erectile tissue under the floor. And so that would be in and down. So in and down. And when all of these erectile structures have been stimulated and they become engorged, then you get this wonderful set of overlapping, interlocking circuits of erectile tissue, literally um, multiple circuits. And when you have all of that engorged and you get those multiple circuits, much more pleasure, much deeper arousal, much easier access to orgasm, expanded orgasms, and among other things, penetration starts to feel much more pleasurable, how, how it's supposed to feel, right? But for a lot of us, it doesn't feel that way because we didn't know we had all the parts, so we didn't get them puffed. So that's, the, that's sort of the really short course. Um, there's lots more information, but that's the short course in the erectile so I was admiring your cushion. Oh, thank you. I, I made her. Oh I made my her. God. Yeah, probably the most. Wait, wait, wait. Let me take out mine so we can have a, we can have a meeting. <laughs> oh my God. We can have a meeting. Uh-huh. Oh, you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, in the next video, I want to ask uh, Sherry more about uh, what she was talking about, the importance of erectile tissue. And so stay tuned and uh, be sure to check out her website and also get her book. Um, her website is called Intimate Arts Center, that's C-N-T-E-R dot com. And her book is uh, called Women's Anatomy of Arousal. <laughs>